Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology Robotic Institute, I'd like to welcome you and appreciate, appreciate your time here. Um, this is our first HKUSE Robotics Day, and we would like to share our warmest welcome. My name is Alex from HKUST Robotic Institute. And first, let me briefly introduce the rundown of the following events today. The first in the morning, we'll be having sharing sessions from distinguished experts in different areas of robotics. In the afternoon and during coffee breaks, we'll be showcasing technologies from different research groups. Um, which are live robotic demonstrations. In the afternoon, we'll be bringing you, bringing you the first workshop co-organized by KTH and HKUCRI. Now, please let me start today's event with the message from SAUSD Executive Vice President and Provost, Honorable Professor, Mr. Shi Wei. Um, let's start our well, warmest welcome. Special day because uh, our Robotics Institute, along with Stream Engineering, has uh, worked very hard to organize uh, this uh, special event. And the uh, Robotics Institute, under the support of our VP Research and uh, Graduate Study Office, Professor Nancy Eves' uh, leadership and uh, under our team of engineering's leadership, Professor Tim Chen, has been working very hard and along multiple fronts. We have engaged, I think as I'm sure colleagues later will articulate in detail, multiple international renowned institutions to collaborate. And also we are going to listen to some of our close collaborators and uh, partners today. I'd just like to say that uh, robotics, as we all know, is uh, fast developing. Anything non-human is almost uh, can be classified as robotics nowadays. So what does it mean? That requires some clarification and a little bit more prioritization. It's just too many, okay, too fast. And uh, it is more than hardware versus software. It's also probably more than system and uh, human interface. Pretty soon we have to address uh, ethics and uh, security and the many other social, economic, and uh, legal implications. And uh, in our university, we have a different setup, including but not limited to Robotics Institute. I hope our colleagues will take this opportunity as a first step to have more open conversation, and hopefully we will have more and, um, and uh, broader agenda items so we can all learn from it, each other. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Shiwei. May I now invite Professor Nancy Ip, the HKUST Vice President for Research and Graduate Studies, to share with us with a few words. Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. David Chung, uh, dis distinguished guests, uh, colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So I just want to <clears throat> echo what we just mentioned. Uh, you know, uh, organizing today's events take a lot of work, and uh, thanks to School of Engineering and also Robotics in Institute for making it possible. It's a first for our university for the Robotics Day. Um, so uh, again, as we mentioned, um, robotics, uh, you know, is developing fast, and uh, just imagine this, right? So you, you uh, have a robot companion that is not just plastic, but can smile at you, and, you know, can, uh, comfort you when you're depressed. So you imagine uh, this is used to be a, a movie's a scene, but now it's a reality because of the technology development uh, at our university. So um, we are indeed in a very exciting time for robotics and people are you know, looking for powerful robots, not because they want to just increase efficiency, but also it can improve the quality of life and it can allow, uh, you know, uh, you to do more dangerous uh, tasks. So uh, at our university, we are trying to build a very robust ecosystem uh, to nurture research, uh, education, and also industrial partnership. And these efforts are, are led by the Robotics Institute under the leadership of Professor Michael uh, Wang. So I just want to give you a few examples. Um, so their institute is actually focused on a few strategic areas, including um, drones, uh, smart manufacturing, smart home, and also human robot uh, interactions. And there has been a lot of uh, interest from the industry 
and also uh, the business sector. So, in, for example, in construction uh, industry, uh, they partner with the uh, institute to organize a seminar, I think it's in July, where you said, earlier this year, and uh, they, they wanted to explore how to use drones and uh, uh, to uh, help in the uh, construction industry and also the infrastructure uh, projects. And it was a great success with a, a lot of uh, encouraging uh, response from the participants. Another example is, uh, you know, um, the institute researchers, they are, um, you know, uh, trying to develop uh, robots that can um, detect uh, smartphone uh, cracks uh, screen on the screen. So, again, this is um, supported by ITB, uh, by the uh, Innovation Technology Fund. So, uh, the institute has over 30 faculty from many disciplines um, across the schools, and this creates a very vibrant uh, a network uh, for talents, and it also facilitates collaborations. And uh, another example I want to give you is their outreach efforts to engage industry. Um, they developed last year um, uh, industry uh, partnership program, and uh, there are you know members uh, from the uh, industry that participate. For example, Qualcomm, uh, Texas Instrument, and uh, analog device, and and it not only can facilitate knowledge uh, transfer, but it can also provide internship opportunities for the students. So these are just some of the examples uh, of the achievement of the Robotics Institute. So later on, you will hear talks from DJI, and I'm sure you are very familiar with DJI. Um, the, the, the story of being a startup and then now becoming a global leader in the industry is truly inspiring. and it showcase you know the efforts of our university to take discoveries from the lab to uh, uh, real application uh, development so um, again this is the whole idea of creating a research institutes on, on our campus to uh, facilitate collaborations from uh, colleagues uh, you know of different disciplines and I am sure that uh, in the years to come you would see, that the Robotics Institute will reach out to many more disciplines and uh, facilitate collaborations. We believe that uh, research will be the key uh, to generate, to, the, to creating the next generation uh, of robotics. So I hope you enjoy the talks this morning and find today's event uh, a rewarding uh, experience. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Yi. Um, now, um, may let us welcome uh, Professor Ting Chen, the Dean of uh, Engineering of HKUSC, to give us some few words. Thank you. I, I will keep my part very short, but I want to take the opportunity to really thank you all for coming here. Your presence is a very strong uh, recognition and encouragement to our faculty and students who have been working really hard in this area. Uh, so also, we are honored to have a very distinguished lineup of speakers from government, from academia, from industry. I, I think as an institute, which is the highest uh, platform for HKUST to host research activity, uh, I, I think to, uh, having this first robotics day to bring in uh, such a distinguished lineup of uh, speakers and your participation really have set up a very good starting point. So. Uh, I want to mention that school, uh, robotics or autonomous system in general is a very, very important field for HKUST and for school of engineering for multiple reasons. First, I think it's to this group, it's not new that there remain many scientific research and engineering challenges in this field. So uh, for academic research, it's continued to be one of the most exciting topics. And uh, the wide range of applications and the societal impacts really make it wonderful area for us to continue to expand. I think HST has strong uh, commitment to make societal impacts and that there is no question this is a f it's going to change everybody's life. And all this wide range of application require top talents. This is again, is hardcore business of university. HKUST makes strong commitment for education. Number four, uh, is the, the um, 
multidisciplinary. I think it's not only one department, one school. It's across the entire university. It covering from aerial to ocean, underwater to self-driving car on the ground, covering from hardware to software, covering from mechanical engineering to computer engineering to electronics engineering to computer science, covering from components to system. Idea subjects really for academic to bring together to transform academic culture to really integrate uh, for applications and to society. And finally, I think this topic is hot, but we're not just chasing a hot topic. HKUST has been very fortunate. We have very strong presence in this area, N not only in the scientific research, but also many world-class companies which can originally trace to the uh, research originally coming from HKUST. So with this, I, I want to say educational element particularly, I think it's in the context of university, under the leadership of uh, Michael Wong and our, our faculty, as well as the School of Engineering faculty, we create many uh, highly popular activity from co-curricular activities such as uh, Robocom, such as underwater vehicle competition. You probably heard we have been in this area for many years and uh, students coming in, they really want to get into this uh, co-curriculum activity, experiential learning activity, which are not credit bearing. This is really encouraging. Students want to do something exciting, not just to get a good grade, not just to uh, get a degree. They really want to experience all this robotics international competition. Actually, Warning had 40 slots for a certain team, and that can tell you that 200 students want to get in. And we develop into the system that they are voting with each other after working for a short period of time. So this is really a very exciting platform for us for education and epic. Uh, so we are, because of that, and now we offer a new minor in robotics which allow all major students to participate. And we're also actively developing a new Master of Science program in robotics and uh, data technology, which will be offered very soon. And lastly, I think many of you heard a very exciting international competition called RoboMaster, which I think Wei and I personally witnessed the finals a couple months ago in, in Shenzhen. And that, I would say it's like a computer game in reality. Students are really excited, which will become one of the several key drivers for our educational function in this area. Uh, so last element I want to mention is industrial participation. I think uh, School of Engineering has been engaging broadly with industry. We believe that uh, industrial comp collaboration is a way to broaden the relevance of our research, to enrich our students' experience. Therefore, we hope today's event will be able to trigger further discussion, intellectual exchanges, to find areas we can complement each other to engage this research and education in this very important. Pretty sure you will enjoy a full spectrum of activities today. I want to take the opportunity to thank the faculty of uh, Robotics Institute, as well as our outstanding staff in School of Engineering, which put together this event. I know many of you have been bombarded with all kinds of announcements, and uh, I, I want to take the opportunity to appreciate all this teamwork together to make it happen. Enjoy your today, and uh, don't forget to see all the exciting demos. Not only the talk this morning and the workshop uh, joined with uh, KTH this afternoon, but we have three demo sites. One outside this room, one is the Robotics Institute Zheng Yitong Building. Also, we block our swimming outdoor swimming pool a whole day, so nobody can swim today, because there are live demo of underwater vehicle and the service boat in our swimming pool. Thank you.